Hi guys, it's Chansey. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Um, I haven't done an update in so long, so I figured I'd get on here and do one for y'all guys real quick. Um, as all of y'all know, I have APS, um, and I recently found that out uh, March of this year. So I've been almost a year, not quite a year yet. Um, and so I've just kind of been figuring things out. Um, for I've, I know I've shared last videos, but so that everybody knows, um, I'm on an off-brand of Lovenox, and I also am on progesterone. Um, and I, I have been starting those uh, three days past ovulation um, for months and months and months. And the reason I haven't really done an update is because um, that hasn't changed. I mean, I don't have any updates in my life right now. It's just kind of like repeating and repeating and repeating, which y'all guys don't want to hear about over and over and over. Um, and so, yeah, I've just kind of been, uh, doing that. I did recently see my rheumatologist and I actually, even though I have not been diagnosed with lupus, I actually did just start, um, hydrochloroquine. I know I'm saying that wrong, but I did just start that, which is a lupus medication. Um, my rheumatologist is just kind of hoping that maybe that'll help start the process for me and help me like get me pregnant, which I've never had problems with in the past, but for whatever reason, I'm having issues now. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I've only been on it for a month and they said typically it takes about three months for that to even get in your system. So I won't know for a little while. Um, and I'm trying to think, is there anything else I need to update y'all with? Um, I was uh, seeing like my normal doctors. Uh, my normal doctor did just, my normal OBGYN did just tell me that it's like now time for me to go see the um, specialist for infertility. So I will be doing that here, um, next month. So I'll, I guess I'll update y'all with that, um, when that happens. Um, but yeah. Um, also another thing I know, like in past videos, I've kind of focused on like the shots. Um, and like I sh shared with y'all, like my first time experience and how that went. Um, and I mean, I was terrified. But like as the months have went on, I've done a lot of repeating. So I've been like two weeks on, two weeks off for, I mean, almost a year now. And um, I feel like I've gotten to be a pro. At the beginning, I was like icing and um, then like pinching my fat super, super hard and then doing it. And I had to be like home at that time so I could make sure I had ice. And it was just like literally like kind of running my life. I now, I mean... I can do it anywhere. I feel like if I just like pitch like actually the smallest amount of fat hurts less. I don't ice it. I just stick it in really quick, punch it in really quick. And for whatever reason, that works for me. I've also like, I know a lot of people have said like, and this is why I was doing this for so long, like pick the fattiest part of your stomach and push it in and whatnot. I felt I have found for myself that that is the complete opposite. If I find the area of the skin where it's just like loose skin and I punch it in, then it goes underneath the loose skin and it's not going through like all, like all the fat or all the whatever. And so that's just what I found for me. And also I've noticed that like bruising, like, I mean, here and there I'll get one that bruises quite a bit, but for the most part, bruising has like went away for me. So I kind of like have found something that works for me. I'm sure y'all guys are all going to find something that works for you, but I figured I'd share. Um, and yeah, I mean, no ice, no nothing. It's way easier now these days. Um, but I definitely get like in the beginning, I was terrified. And I'm sure as you probably are, if you're just starting out low Vinox shots. So uh, just stick with it because it does get easier. I mean, I haven't been pregnant and I do hear like once your belly starts, I mean, I have been pregnant, but not with the low Vinox. So I hear once your belly starts getting bigger and you're doing the low Vinox shots, that gets harder. But I personally have not been in that position yet. Well, that's all I've got for y'all guys. Like I said, I mean, I've just been in the repeating process. Um, so not like nothing new for me. Um, and I will continue to do so. I hope y'all guys are having good experiences out there. If y'all are, please share them with me. Um, and then if you're not like share that with me too, I'm completely here open to listen to any of y'all stories or answer any of y'all guys' questions. I know what it's like for to be out there and like nobody know what you're really going through. So um, I, I completely get it and I'm completely here if y'all guys do need to talk about anything. Um, but I will pray for all you guys and um, hope that all of y'all are doing well. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye.